so this is little about myself uh, hello i am arman gadia and i am passionate about leveraging technologies to drive innovation and enhance business processes as a seasoned salesforce developer i specialize in crafting robust solution that empowers organization to optimize their crm strategies let's embark on the journey to elevate your salesforce experience and transform the way you connect with your customers so today's agenda will look like first of all we'll understand generative ai uh, the definition of the generative ai then we will uh, see the basics of the generative ai in which we will explore how exactly generative ai works after that we will get the answer of the question that is ai the new concept or uh, salesforce used it recently then uh, we will go to the how generative ai enhance the salesforce utility after that we will see that what kind of data type that can be generated through the generative ai after we will explore the different gpts of the salesforce and then uh, we'll show some real example how we can uh, actually use generative ai into the salesforce and how we can uh, get the help to implement the functionality inside our salesforce after that uh, is there any security breach of using ai into the salesforce so we will get the answer of that uh, uh, that using salesforce or using generative ai into the salesforce or using generative ai anywhere can lead to the security breach or uh, it uh, uh, may help uh, further and last but not the least we will get the summary in which we will the cover the whole the information that we have covered in the session okay so understanding the generative ai so generative ai is a kind of ai which generates the output from the input that is provided to it from the user the generative ai learns on its own to be more precise for example if a user is providing uh, an input that uh, give me uh, the image of the cat or generate the image of the cat at that time the ai will go through stops and all the image of the cats around uh, and based on that it will create a new cat image for you and also it will add all the features according to the user's requirement also uh, generative ai updates itself from the feedback that you provide to it for example uh, if you ask ai to generate the image of the cat and the image uh, given in uh, given the output doesn't look like a cat and you provide a specific feedback for that that it will uh, learn from your feedback and update its output better than the previous one uh, how exactly generative ai works we will understand in the very next slide but uh, before that this was the simple concept of the ai so let us look at the simple definition of artificial intelligence uh, so generative AI is a kind of AI which generates the output from the input that is provided to it from the user. It will learn from your feedback and update its output better than the previous one. So what it means that uh, for example if there is a user and there is an AI and if the user is giving input to the AI that the let's say generate the image of the cat then the ai according to this input it will generate the image of the cat and after getting the output uh, and after seeing the output the user will uh, give a feedback that actually that it does not look like a cat so what the ai will do it will generate the new image of the cat based on the uh, feedback that is provided by the user to it let us take the example of the netflix so netflix is using the ai in order to maintain the recommendation it's showing to its user to be precise it will recommend you similar to the stuff that you have been watching in the history and based on that it will generate you the list and this list will further update based on what you are watching currently this is nothing but the AI which is working on certain algorithm and code that is provided to it. Based on that, it will analyze the information of a particular user. It will collect data from multiple sources. This data includes genre that you are watching, the likes, dislikes and rating that you provided to the content. 
it can also demograph the user based on the gender let us say the content that you been which watching include uh, uh, three categories the actor which is kevin spacey the director which is uh, david fincher and the series name house of card it will calculate the traffic of all of them and updates by maintaining its consistency after that it will generate a report of house of card that additional user is uh, 2 m uh, let's say 2 million in us and 1 million new subscriber in the world so this is a rough ex uh, rough example uh, rough calculation basically mm. ai can be useful in targeting right customer for particular product uh, more personalized and interactive experience providing insightful and relevant product recommendation okay so let us see how ai can be helpful in stock market let us go with the example of short selling there are four columns here as you can see on the screen uh, suppose we are giving data to the ai of our previous state based on that it will predict how market can be favorable to your side and it can also guide you with say, your next trade and after creating the another trade it will note down that and will take this as a feedback by upgrading it to output will provide another prediction for you for you with a better accuracy so like that it will pre keep predicting and keep learning on its own from the previous output and the final output will be the highly accurate compared to all its previous outputs it can help you to make more money and analyze the market this tool will focus on how we can make the smarter prediction and how we trade faster but uh, also developer need to bypass the danger uh, as uh, using ai to the stock market increase a lot of risk which can also lead to the market crash a neural network is a machine learning process that teaches computer to process data in a way that it inspired by the human brain neural network are a type of ai called deep learning so all in all the ai is trained in a such a way that it can act like a human brain can differentiate the different things majorly a neural network is responsible neural network comprise of nodes and connection so that is node and the line which connects two node is known as a connection so this is the reason how a how can ai can understand that what should be the correct output actually so here's how generative ai works it basically have two main aspect uh, where we need to focus uh, our gen generative adversarial network which is gans and uh, variational autoencoder ways so let's first understand the gans so gans comprise of two factor which is a generator and discriminator uh, what a generator will do it will generate the output and what the discriminator will give feedback feedback to that output uh, in the previous example of the generation of the image of the cat uh, the generator was generating the image and the discriminator was keep on rejecting those images until it will have the perfect image of the cat so that's what the gain is it will comprise of generator and discriminator so in a nutshell generator it generates the image but won't present to the user until discriminator say it is perfect and the discriminator it constantly gives feedback to generator and when the satisfactory output came will give positive feedback to the generator then the generator will show the output to the user now let's talk about ways so ways or variational auto encoders are composed of two factor which are encoder and decoder Encoder collects big data from everywhere and compress it into the smaller part and decoder will reverse the process. Again with the example of the cat, when the user asks AI to generate the image of the cat, it will collect the data of all the images of the cat out, uh, out there and compress it into smaller parts and then according to the user's requirement, it will generate the image of the cat on its own. So again to make it simple. Uh, there is encoder bottleneck and decoder encoder it will collect the big data and compress it uh, bottleneck this is the point where encode and decoder met and uh, decoder it will provide the data according to the user's requirement so that was about the variational auto encoder and uh, how ai works
now let's see the is the ai is the new concept so is the ai is the new concept the straight answer is no ai is not a new concept previously the definition of the ai differed from the current generative ai what was once known as a traditional ai is essentially pre-programmed language that reacts according to its training and algorithm it lacks the capability to learn new things based on the input and uh, feedback provided to it traditional ai follows predefined knowledge rules and patterns and performing tasks based on the predefined logic it's required human effort and explicit programming in conclusion ai is not a new concept but the term generative ai is the new approach in ai is generative ai which uh, offered extended feature that a traditional ai did not have well again the word ai is not a new concept for salesforce 2 the evolution of ai in salesforce has been marked by a progression of features and capabilities aimed at enhancing uh, user experience automated task and providing more intelligent insight within the salesforce platform uh, here's the general overview of evolution of ai in salesforce so in 2016 salesforce introduced einstein an ai powered feature set across its various cloud uh, sales cloud service cloud marketing cloud etc einstein includes uh, capabilities such as predictive lead searching automated email responses and predictive analytics to help uh, users make data driven decision and then after in 2017 einstein vision was introduced to bring image recognition capabilities to Salesforce, it enables user to build and train custom image recognition model for tasks like identifying products or object within images. After in 2018, Salesforce introduced Einstein Voice, leveraging neural network processing (NLP) for voice commands and transcription. This allowed user to interact with Salesforce using voice command and receive insights through natural language interactions. Also in 2018, Salesforce collaborated with IBM Watson to integrate advanced AI capability into its offering. The partnership aimed to enhance customer relationship management by leveraging IBM's Watson for deeper insight and cognitive analytics. Einstein bots were introduced to automate routine customer interaction using chatbots. These bots could handle comment, comment queries, uh, freeing up human agents to focus on more uh, complex tasks. While not directly an AI feature, Salesforce acquisition of Tableau in 2019 strengthened its analytic capabilities. Tableau's advanced analytics and visualization tool complemented Salesforce AI's offering, providing users with uh, powerful insights. In 2020, Salesforce introduced update to Einstein Analytics, brings more sophisticated analytics and uh, machine learning capabilities to help users uh, uncover insight, predict outcomes and make uh, smarter decisions. Also in 2020, Salesforce Hyperforce initiative, while not uh, AI specific, emphasizing the importance of uh, cloud infrastructure in supporting AI and machine learning workload at scale. Moving further in 2021, Salesforce announced Einstein Automate, a set of tools and services aimed at uh, automating workflows and business processes. It includes capabilities such as a Flow Orchestra and MuleSoft Composer for no-code and low-code automations. Additionally, Salesforce has also encouraged the integration of external AI solutions through its app extend marketplace, allowing users to leverage third-party AI technology seamlessly with the uh, Salesforce environment. So automated data entry and cleansing. A uh, generative model can be trained to identify anomalies or outliers in the data. This is particularly useful for detecting and correcting errors or inconsistency in the Salesforce database. A uh, generative algorithm can help uh, standardize data formats, units or naming conversation, uh, ensuring uh, consistency across different data sets. By understanding patterns and relationship in the data, Generative AI can assist in identifying and resolving duplicate records in Salesforce. Second is customer interaction. Generative AI powered chatbot enables businesses to provide a round the clock customer support. Customer can get instant responses to their queries even outside regular, uh, uh, regular businesses hours. Generative model with NLP capabilities can understand the uh, intent behind uh, customer queries 
allowing for more accurate and content aware responses generative ai can analyze customer data to provide a personalized product or service recommendation based on individual preference and behavior third is personalized market content generative model can dynamically generate content uh, uh, content varies based on the custom customer data preference and behavior this enable marketers to create personalized messages emails or advertisement for different segment of their audience uh, generative ai can be used to, to personalize email content dynamically like it can tailor a subject line body text and call to action button based on the receipts uh, per, uh, preference mm. uh, and also demographic fourth is automated report generation generative ai can analyze large data set identify patterns and extract meaningful insight this can help in automatically generating report that highlights key trend anomalies and actionable insights generative ai can also be helpful in lead generation segmentation uh, generative models with nlp capabilities can analyze email interaction and chat conversation to assess lead intent and qualification this helps in determining whether the lead is ready for further engagement or not then is predictive analytics for sales forecasting um, generative ai can incorporate external data sources such as uh, economic indicators industry trends or market condition to improve the accuracy of sales forecast by considering border contextual factors seventh is dynamic pricing op optimization dynamic pricing indicators involve adjusting prices in real time based on uh, various factors such as demand supply uh, competitor pricing customer behavior and market condition generative ai can be beneficial in providing insights and indication for dynamic pricing strategies last is enhance image recognition by visual data to make image recognition better use uh, advanced method like a deep learning with uh, conventional neural network which is also known as cnn uh, consider techniques such as data augmentation and attention mechanism and explore real time detection model like a single shot multi book detector so let us look that uh, what kind of data type that can we uh, get through generative ai first one is text uh, you can consider the example of the chat gpt uh, sibling model of gpt3 Ch chat gpt is designed specific specifically for conventional interaction it can be used to build chatbots answer user queries and engage in neural network language uh, conversation uh, use case of the chat gpt is uh, customer support virtual assistant chat application another example of the text generation ai is the google bard uh developer by developed by the google is designed for uh, natural language understanding while not a uh, text generation tool per se it has been used in various application including text compilation and sentence generation text tasks use cases are uh, questioning answering uh, sentiment analysis text compilation another data type is uh, image you can consider the example of the mid journey in this mid journey is a self founded uh, closed source program that uses language and diffusion model to generate image it's considered one of the easiest ai image generator to use for example a basic prompt like a cow can produce good results of uh, images of the cows there are two example of video generation ai uh, which is runway ml and deep dream generator uh, runway ml offers various ai models for creative applications including video it provides tool for generating and manipulating videos using machine learning models uh, deep deep generator is uh, applies neural network to image and video creating visually unique and surreal effects it's uh, based on the deep dream algorithm developed by the google audio generation ai is a uh, uh, wavenet by deep mind uh, wavenet is a deep generative model for uh, audio synthetic developed by deep mind it is known for its ability to produce high quality and realistic uh, human like speeches another of uh, another example is libreed libreed is a voice synthesis platform that use deep learning to create realistic uh, sounding voice replies 
यूजर्स कैन क्रिएट कस्टम वॉइस रेकॉर्डिंग बेस्ड ऑन प्रोवाइडिंग ऑडियो सैम्पल्स ए आई कैन ऑल्सो जनरेट थ्री डी मॉडल्स डीप ड्रीम थ्री डी डीप ड्रीम थ्री डी अप्लाइज डीप न्यूरल नेटवर्क टू जनरेट थ्री डी मॉडल्स फ्रॉम टू डी इमेजिस एंड गेन पेन स्टूडियो डेवलप्ड बाय एम आई टी बी आई बी एम वॉटसन ए आई लैब आर द बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ थ्री डी मॉडल्स जनरेशन ऑफ ए आई so these are the different gpts of the salesforce so we will explore them one by one each one serves different purposes let's look uh, one by one imagine einstein gpt as a super smart assistant that helps people using salesforce it uses three kind of brains uh, first is salesforce smart brain this is like the secret sauce made by salesforce it helps the assistant understand and work with your company's uh, information in salesforce Second is open AI chat GPT brain. Thank, thanks to friend, uh, friendship between the Salesforce and Open AI, the assistant also has a super cool brain from Open AI. Uh, this brain is greater in understanding and talking in a way that feels natural, like uh, chatting with uh, helpful friends. And third is uh, your own special brain. If you have your own su uh, super secret brain, Einstein GPT is cool with that too. it can work alongside with your special brain to make things even more awesome so when you ask this assistant question in simple language it uses all these three brains to give you real smarter and uh, customized answer saving you a lot of time it's like uh, having a genuine helper in your computer sell cpt imagine you have a super tool that makes your website not just a site but a lead chanting wizard it doesn't stop there it checks out the leads and uh, hand them over to the right people in the flesh plus it's a pro at uh, crafting emails that feels like uh, they were written just for you and guess what it's not just for you it helps your whole team stay on the same page and gives them tips to be even better at uh, what they do it's like uh, having a team of superheroes for your business sales gpt offers the following features lead generation lead qualification personalized emails sales coaching team collaboration so service gpt is used specifically for the service cloud service gpt is a game changer for organization seeking to elevate uh, service experience across the broad extending from contact certain to on field operation all while cost op optimizing the cost capitalizing on real time data and fortifying by trusted ai capabilities service gpt empowers service team to streamline their workflows let us look at uh, the features that provides the service uh, provided by the service cloud uh, gpt so first is service replies it's like uh, having a instant reply wizard it uh, quickly cooks, cooks up uh, personalized responses for customer using the newest info This means problem gets solved faster and there are fewer mistakes happy customer all around Second is work summaries think of it as a case superhero it takes all the details and history and turn them into easy to understand summaries so when your hero service agent jump in they get the whole picture fast and can save the day quicker Third is knowledge article this one is your knowledge guru it automatically writes an updates article with the latest tips for the for customer issues so your heroes are always down with the newest and best info to help customer like a pros fourth is mobile work briefing picture this as a special toolkit for your own the go heroes before they head out they get a briefing with all an important details about the customers it's like having a cheat sheet for excellent service happy customer you got it okay so marketing gpt marketing gpt is a tool developed by the salesforce that uses gpt 3.5 in its account engagement platform it's a generative ai tool that helps marketer create a personalized email audience segment and marketing journeys let's see a uh, marketing gpt is a ai connected user interface that uh, marketers with uh, campaign brief connection audience and segment discovery content creation 
it can help with marketing strategy content creation customer engagement business success so let's see the features that are uh, providing by the uh, marketing gpt of the salesforce okay so first is email content creation it can create personalized email for you this can save your lot of time second is segment intelligence for data cloud market segmentation is a process of dividing a broad market into a smaller group based on shared characteristic this group are called uh, segments third is uh, rapid intelligent resolution segmentation and engagement it makes sure everyone gets the right message uh, intelligent segment creation another segment expert this tool helps create group of people based on all sort of clever criteria uh, then is a smart email content developer uh, it knows how just to develop content that grabs attention and keep people interested uh, sixth is a typeface uh, generative AI content uh, platform imagine having a design uh, gen genius this tool helps create uh, stunning AI, AI data driven content with a perfect uh, typefaces seventh is goal based commerce so what it does is it helps set goals and plans to make sure your business is on right track uh, then is a dynamic product description think of this as your uh, product uh, uh, storyteller it creates description uh, for, for your product uh, that uh, makes uh, the product descriptive uh, then is a commerce consign meet your personal commerce commerce assistant it guides you through the whole process making sure everything runs smoothly okay so salesforce commerce gpt so commerce gpt is a generative AI tool that uses salesforce data cloud to help businesses offer personalized shopping experience uh, it can generate personalized product description recommendation and promotions uh, automate marketing campaign to increase traffic and sales help businesses boost merchant efficiency so let us look at uh, the features that our uh, uh, commerce gpt is uh, providing okay so these are the features uh, providing by the commerce gpt first is increase customer engagement it's like uh, having a personal support for each customer commerce gpt creates special experience by suggesting product improving uh, search result and making checkout agrees result customers are super happy and sales suit up uh, second is uh, improved customer satisfaction commerce gpt helps customer by answering questions solving issues and suggesting a cool product this means happy customer who stick around and third is reduce cost commerce gpt does the boring stuff like uh, creating promotion writing product description and answering routine question this leaves business more time to focus on big dreams and making more sales uh, efficient and cost effective Okay, so Tableau GPT. Uh, Tableau GPT is a solution that adds generative AI capabilities to Salesforce Tableau's business intelligence platform. It's an advanced uh, analytic tool that uses Tableau's data visualization capabilities. Uh, Tableau GPT can automatically create visualization, such as relevant questions as query, and help users understand and interact with generative AI. So let us look at the features that are provided by the Tableau GPT. So there are two main features of the Tableau GPT. First is Tableau Plus and Data Cloud integration. Uh, Tableau Plus, your analytics are uh, autopilot. Uh, Tableau Plus brings automation to analytics, making it faster and more efficient. And second is Data Cloud integration. That imagine all your data working seamlessly together. Data Cloud integration ensures that the different data source connects smoothly, providing a unified and comprehensive view. Uh, with WGPT and these updates, it's like uh, having a team of experts in your business toolkit, making things run smarter and smoother. Slack GPT Slack GPT is a conventional AI assistant that uses uh, generative AI app integration in different languages model. It's uh, designed to increase business productivity by using CRM and conventional data. So some of the features that is providing by the Slack GPT, let's look at them. So these are the features 
of the select GPT. First is AI powered conversation summary. Select GPT listened in on your conversation and magically summarized the key point, making it easy to catch up on what happened. Second is writing ad. Uh, it helps you to write message that uh, hit uh, hit the right note. It uh, suggests words and phrases, making sure your messages are clear and friendly. Uh, third is no code workflow. Uh, it's setting up a workflow breeze without needing to dive into a complex code. It's like uh, having a personal automation as assistant. Fourth is a generative AI app integration. Imagine having an app that understands you. Slack GPT brings in a super smart app that can generate responses and insights, making your workflow smoother. And uh, last is uh, customer insights. Your customers do active actually. Uh, Slack GPT digs into a conversation to provide insights. It uh, helps you to understand what your customers are saying and what they might need. Uh, with Slack GPT, it's like uh, turning your Slack into a smart, efficient and insightful hub where communication become a breeze. So here uh, I am presenting you the demo of the generative AI uh, Einstein for developer. I am already logging into the Salesforce org and uh, first of all you will need to activate uh, Einstein for developer which you can do by going to the setup and then but uh, searching just Einstein in the quick find box you will find the option for Einstein for developer and you just need to enable that which I have already done so let's jump to the VS code so some of the prerequisite that you will require to enable uh, uh, Einstein for developer into your VS code to uh, firstly you will need to install uh, uh, Einstein for developer extension so I already installed it you can install it by going to the extension extension section of the VS code you can also disable it and, un and uninstall it after that you will need to create a uh, one apex class otherwise the generate code option will not uh, uh, appear so i already created a uh, apex class name einstein and uh, here also you can enable the prompt history so that you can see all the previous prompts that you given to the ai and also uh, when uh, when your uh, Einstein for developer extension is enabled, you will see this Einstein logo in the sidebar. So you can generate code by giving prompt here. So I will give uh, some of the code to write, uh, which will test the capabilities of the generative AI. So here I am having some of the question. So first is uh, create a class name opportunity retrieval with a method to fetch the first 10 records. You have to take care about uh, the prompt, uh, the question that you are giving to the prompt because uh, if it's not proper then it won't generate the perfect code. So make sure to write a perfect question or perfect prompt to it. So I'll simply paste it here and I'll click on the ask. So as you can see the code is here. You can also give it uh, feedback as like or dislike. You will click on the simply uh, copy code and you can paste it now let's give a trigger to it and check whether it can generate or not
so here's the trigger you can see it can uh, create a, a apex class or trigger by its own without any bit of error so now let's try to give it a test class to write I am already having a question that create a test class named test opportunity uh, method to coverage scenario where opportunity stage is set to closed one. So let's simply copy it and give it to the prompt. So here's the test class according to our question. I will copy the code and simply paste it into our Apex class. So this was the demo for the Einstein for developers. Sim similarly, like that, you can uh, also uh, help uh, take the help uh, from the AI to create your flows, to create codes and also some of the features uh, it separately provided in uh, sales GPT, service GPT and different uh, clouds of the Salesforce that uh, already we covered in our uh, theory section. So while integrating AI into the Salesforce, uh, Salesforce has given uh, this data security protection rules and features which can protect your data uh, first is data encryption then is access control then regular audits data privacy compliance monitoring and logging uh, vendor security and uh, lastly a user training uh, let us look at them one by one uh, first is data encryption uh, think of it like putting your data in a secret code. Generative AI makes sure that even if someone tries to pick, they can't understand your information. So the all the inform all all of your information will be stored as a secret code. Second is access control. It's like having a bouncer at the door. Generative AI ensures that only the right people get access to specific information like uh, having a VIP pass. Then regular audits. Imagine having a superhero inspector. And generative AI regularly checks everything to make sure it's all in order and safe. Just like a superhero making sure everything is secure. Uh, then is uh, data privacy compliance. This is like uh, having a rule book for superheroes. Uh, generative AI follows strict rules to make sure your data is treated within the utmost private privacy and care. Another feature which is offering by the data security is monitoring and logging. It's like having a security camera everywhere. Uh, generative AI keeps an eye on things and keeps a record. Uh, so if anything uh, unusual happens, it's spotted and dealt with. Sixth is vendor security. Think of it as a trusting a superhero ally. Generative AI works with a trusted partners, making sure they follow the highest security standard, just like a superhero team. And last is a user training. It's like getting a superhero manual. Generative AI ensures that everyone using it knows the best practice and how to keep everything safe just like knowing the superhero moves. So using generative AI in Salesforce is like a having a superhero squad guarding your, guarding your data, making sure it's locked up right and only accessible to the right folks and always under watchful eye, safe and sound. Salesforce Einstein is an integrated set of AI technologies designed to enhance versions aspect of customer relationship management including sales, service, marketing and more. Generative AI in a broader sense 
refer to AI models that can generate new content such as text, images or other forms of data based on pattern learned from the existing data. Salesforce Generative AI is like having a super smart assistant for your businesses. It can do things like writing personalized email, helping with customer questions and even creating cool reports. It's like having a buddy that understands your business data and can make things easier and more awesome for you. It's all about making your work smoother, faster and lot more fun. So that was the session. Hope you guys enjoy this uh, uh, session for the uh, generative AI of the Salesforce. Hope it clears all the questions and all your concerns is regarding the generative AI. Thank you so much for uh, joining in. Thank you very much.